the shock absor absorber from uh, chapter four will have a capsule two uh, which is an extended primitive two tubes which are standard primitives on each end on second capsule and then uh, which is also extended primitive and then a helix which is a 2d shape so uh, go to 3d max and I'll just uh, uh, another thing I point out is while this object is is presented horizontally we're gonna build it vertically and then we'll just adjust it later so I start off with my extended primitives and I go to capsule and I'm just gonna make the uh, main body of that shock absorber that tan part so I get it uh, generally close to what I want it to be I zero it in the X and Y axis and then I adjust the size of it. To me, this it's not quite enough radius, so I'm going to go up to 10 and maybe a little bit more. I'm going to go to 65 on the height. And then we're good. That is the first part of it. The second part is another capsule. So a quick way to fix that, uh, make it, would be to click on this, Control V, Copy. And then I simply go to my front viewport, move it up, change the color which is supposed to be a light blue color and then I can change the diameter or in this case the radius let's make it five so half the size and then uh, well I think five is probably too small so let's try six that's pretty good and it's already zeroed X and Y because all we did is copy it and that saved us that step the next step is to make the shape of a helix and we'll do that and I like to do it in the top viewport that way it's going the direction I want it to go and a helix like before if we, if we just look at it it doesn't look like much of anything it looks like a little like a hair on the top of somebody's head but we'll change that when we start um, number one we're going to enable it in viewport and and have some thickness to it and number two we're going to change the radius of this thing and then the number of turns. Now if I look at the turns, I can count on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if I go back here and my turns, it says one right now. If I, as soon as I put nine, it's going to start looking like something. And then I just need to adjust my height. So to adjust my height, I'm going to move it up where it needs to be. And I'm going to zero it so it's around that second cone. And then I'm going to go to my height and I'm just going to drag it up. to where it goes the whole length of that and then I'm going to change this color to black and that's done now next thing we're gonna do is we're simply gonna make a couple of standard primitive tubes and I'm gonna make them in this front viewport so I can make them the orientation that I want them to be and I'm going to zero this one and that gets it lined up on top and when I look at it I need to move it to the middle here close as I can which five will be the middle and then I need to move it down so it's sitting right on top of here and it looks about right uh, it needs to well let me see the color it's supposed to be a darker gold color so I'll try that one there we go and then we just have one more to go so I as while this is selected I copy it and then I just move it down to the bottom and then and we have a shock absorber and there you have it